Merhaba, hi everyone, this is Ayşenur Altan. Welcome to Turkish food recipes. Did you ever heard of rose jam? It is a great way to enjoy the fragrance and aroma of roses and keep it here long. We usually eat this on breakfast with kayma cream on top of piece of fresh bread, but you can use as a topping for ice cream or other desserts or even make a rose flavored yogurt and more. I shared the recipe for kaymak in the previous episode and I'm excited to share the rose jam recipe as you wish. So let's get started. This is the rose type we use for the jam. We have a city, Sparta, famous for its roses. Mostly it comes from there and we buy it from street bazaars in Istanbul. Of course there are lucky ones they can collect from their gardens. It is my dream. So first I'm going to separate the rose petals and with a scissor I will cut the white parts. Uh, they make it bitter. And also I will separate the uh, rose petals that are turned to yellow. I'm not gonna use those. If you have the rose in whole, it is easier to cut the white parts, but if they are already separated, um, you don't have to just pick every petal and do this. Just do it as much as you can. Uh, I, I wanted to use a glow uh, because sometimes there are bugs coming from the roses, so I didn't want to touch it. I just saw one, but it is good to be cautious. Here I am done with the cleaning. It is 250 grams of rose. If you are going to pick them from your garden, just scale the roses you have and then continue the other steps by scaling the recipe. I am going to wash the rose petals in full of water and I uh, prefer to get the rose out from the water instead of draining them. This way the soil or anything if there is other than rose petals will sink on bottom. I do the same thing when I wash the spinach leaves because they have lots of uh, soil. I also want to mention that I use the leftover water uh, to water my flowers. I do care about not wasting anything in my kitchen so water is one of the thing and the most important thing actually and it is great way to water your flowers since they need in the summertime once a day. After I wash the petals for three times I use this salad drainer to drain my petals. If you don't have, you can just squeeze gently and drain the water as much as you can. They look so nice, smell so nice. It is a blessing to have roses, I think. Since we have our pickly clean rose petals, we are ready to go for the first step. We are going to make a starter, let's say, for our jam. This is for the uh, get as much as aroma we can have. I have one fourth cup of sugar here and uh, one fourth teaspoon citric acid. I just mash it uh, so it will be easy to combine. Since my bowl is not too big, uh, I just first going to uh, mix the half of the rose so I'm using half of the sugar and citric acid. And I'm going to knead the mixture until it is one fourth of the size. You can see the difference now. I'm going to do the same thing with the other half of the rose petals.
you can be hard when you are uh, mixing it to get as much as juice you can and mix it with sugar if you want you can add one tablespoon or two tablespoon more sugar after it is deflated let's say I will cover it and uh, let it sit in the refrigerator for two days to get the flavor out so this is the mixture after two days it still has its nice color pink color if you let it sit more than two days it might turn the color so it is better if you stay on the schedule I'm going to cook half of the roses so I have 750 grams of sugar 400 milliliter water and my pan to cook our jam so we are ready to go to stove first I'm going to boil the water and after it is boiled I'm going to put half of the rose petals and cook for about 10 minutes or until it is soft you can check by eating one petal if it is not soft enough it gets like a squeaky sound when you are eating uh, you will understand me when you try this so it is important but just don't overcook it it takes about 10 to 11 minutes you see that our beautiful rose petals are white now it is normal don't be scared we will get the colors back soon inshallah it's been uh, 10 minutes now and since I was fasting I couldn't check so uh, I just mash it with my hands and it is done so I drain the rose petals now and put the sugar to the rose water and I will cook the syrup we have now here uh, for about again 10 minutes until it has jam like consistency you may think that why we are taking out the rose petals we can cook them all together we are trying to not overcook the rose petals to keep the pink color because if you do it turns to kind of brown color rather than nice pink one so that's why we are taking out the petals and controlling the syrup to has its uh, nice consistency to have and it takes again about uh, 10 to 12 minutes so you can see the difference now it still has its nice color and I'm checking it by dropping some of the syrup then you drop it to a plate and smash it with between your fingers you understand the consistency it is like a honey oozing uh, so it is ready now I will show it after the complete jam how to check it now I put back the rose petals and will continue to cook in this recipe I use lots of rose petals to have intense taste and density but normally it is more lighter and has few rose petals in gems it is up to you to decide how you want to have it you can even double the sugar and water and have more jam it yields about 800 milliliter with this recipe but it will have a similar rose fragrance and taste too if you double it after 10 minutes I'm checking the jam if it is ready as you can see when I drop uh, the last drop actually because it is cooler it stays it is not runny then I understand the jam is ready and I add a half teaspoon citric acid you can add lemon juice also but since some of the lemons are not uh, very strong enough here in Turkey sometimes uh, I prefer to add citric acid after you add it 
you will see it will be more darker in the pink color I boiled one more minute and then turn off the heat and stir for a couple of minutes to help to cool down because it will continue to cook in the pan and here you see the last drop it is more pink in color because of the citric acid uh, I also can suggest you that uh, it is better if you make it a little bit uh, runnier than this thickness your jam because it will be more hard after it cools down if your jam happens to be thick you can always add a little bit more water and then boil for one more minute and then cool down here you can see the nice color pink color this is really important and also the texture so delicious so yummy uh, I hope you try and like it especially with uh, kaimak I strongly recommend you to eat together in on top of piece of bread if you already make a rose jam in your region uh, please let us know how you make it is it different than this one for other half of the rose petals I put it in a sealed bag and freeze until I use it uh, this way it will stay fresh and uh, keep its color in the freezer I also tried uh, stuck it with more sugar and keep it in the refrigerator side but uh, that way it doesn't keep the color so this time I used uh, this method thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe if you want more recipes I hope to see you in another delicious Turkish food recipes afiyet olsun